Hey guys, um, in this video we're going to add pagination um, at the very bottom of our movie listing page and please do forgive me throughout this video you're probably going to be hearing me sniffing as I'm not sure if I've got a cold or hay fever but the main thing is we're going to get pagination on this page so um, head back to uh, PHP Storm and we are going to add we need at least two things we need um, two private variables or well, sorry, public variables um, that we can access and assign values to later. And this would be, we're going to need one called page. Um, this would be our current page. And then we're going to need another one called um, total pages. So the total pages that comes from the API. But for this, uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm only going to limit this total page to 10 pages. And you'll see why in a second. Uh, let me actually go ahead and make this a bit bigger for you guys. Cool. So, um, I'm going to set a breakpoint here so that we can see what's inside the movie list and then you'll see why I'm setting it to 10 pages. So if we come back and refresh, wait a while, uh, keep waiting. Cool. So we have movie list and we want to open up movie list. So we have page one, page one and total pages is 37,910. We are not going to display that amount on our website. Unless you want to, then by all means go ahead. But for the purpose of this um, tutorial, we'll stick to just 10 pages. Uh, so let's close our debugger and let me minimize this a little bit. I hope you guys can still see that. Um, I'm going to minimize a few things and we are going to create a new method and we're going to call it um, get pagination links. So public function oops function get pagination links um, the first thing you want to do is initiate um, initialize a few values and give them default values so the first one we're going to do is display previous and we're going to set that to true and then we will have display next and we're also going to set that to true now we want to check um, if this page as in the current page is equal to whoops is equal to one then we do not want to display the previous link so we set that to false oops. and else if this page as in the current page is equal to 10 Remember I said we're going to set it to test just 10. Then we do not want to display next. Display next is equal to false. All right. So now we want to create um, the links, the, the values that will sit behind our next link and our previous link. So next, so next would be this page plus, oops, plus one and then yep you guess the previous would be this page minus one let's add a space in there <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is if again remember we're working with just 10 pages if this oops, total pages is less than or equal to 10 then set total pages to being whatever we assign total total pages to be and the reason for, oops and the reason for this is because let's say we have we are searching on on a new movie let's say Shazam and there are only three pages we only want to display a maximum of three links on here we don't want to display 10 because the fourth page would lead to nothing so then we're gonna have an else else total pages is limited to 10 uh, and then let's carry on you see we've got lots of empty um, variables they're not being assigned to anything but we're going to change that very soon so now what we want to check is if oops, if total pages is only equal to 1 then display next should be false we don't want to display that 
So now let's return all of this um, information back. So we're gonna have a return, and we'll have a return array. And oops. And in this return array, we're gonna have display next is equal to yep, display next. And then we're gonna have display previous is equal to yep display previous you guessed it so I think I'll fast forward this part for you guys and we get to the next part okay so these are values we are going to pass to our templates this template here the movie listing but right now we have no way of letting this template know that we have pagination so let's go into our movie directory module file and then let's add the pagination variable how about I spell that right? Pagination. Yep. And that's going to be equal to null. Um, again, we want to clear caches so that Drupal picks this new variable up. So that's drush. Oops, not in capital. Drush CR, cache rebuild. Perfect. So that's done. Um, it still does not know that we have pagination though because we are not telling this template that we have it. So head back to our moving listing um, class scroll up and this is where we start assigning stuff so if you remember content we are assigning this value content in movies and we had that here now we need to do the same for pagination so um, just beneath content we're going to add pagination and that's going to be equal to oops ugh, this gets pagination links and we can leave it like that Now that we've got um, paginations being assigned a value or values, let's hold, head over to our movie listing template and then check to see if the values are actually coming through. So in order to do this, I would actually utilize the range function that Twig provides. So we would do um, um, curly brackets, whoops, with a percentage sign. And what we're gonna say is for I in, and then we're gonna give it the range. So we're gonna say start from one, and then end at pagination dot total pages and total pages if you remember comes from our movie listing um sorry our pagination links method and this is where we assign total pages here and we pass it here so let's head back so what we're saying is for um i in total pages let's render something in this case let's just render a number so we're going to render whatever i is at this point and then we are going to end our four so and whoops and four and then let's go back to our page and refresh and see if anything comes up okay so let's scroll down um oof, so we're seeing one and zero so at least we're seeing something but it means total pages has not been assigned um let's see why so if total pages is less than 10 then total pages is this if not total pages is 10 so it could be ah yes we are not assigning this value something and we do that here within our list movies method. So if you uh, new line, just underneath movie list, and we're gonna say this total page is equal to, and if you remember, we had page within the first level of this array or this object. So movie list page, uh, let's go back to our browser and then refresh this. Still seeing one to zero. All right, let's debug this. Let's set a breakpoint here, go back, refresh. So movie list, page, ah, there we go, so, so let me, sorry, that's meant to be total pages. And then let's continue. So come back here, refresh. Nope, still seeing this. All right, let me stop the video and then I'll debug what's going on. All right, so it was a silly typo. I forgot to add the S here and forgot to add the S here because we are using total pages all over the place in this pagination method. So back to the browser one more time. 
and hopefully we should see one to ten nice so that's working so now we need to actually start adding some links behind these numbers so back to page restore back to movie listing and what we are going to do is um, add a bit more value here so I think what I will do here is I will create a link um, an anchor tag for now so href let's leave the href blank for now I'll show you what to do with that in a second um, and then let's also add a bit of class as well so we can style it up later so class equals pagination item right um, and we also want to add an active item so in order to do that we need to find out if we're currently on the current page so we're going to do pagination dot current page is equal to i remember i is the value we're getting from our range method if it is then we are going to add a class that is um, is active if it's not then we're going to add a class that is not active and for now let's go back to our browser refresh to see if anything has changed okay so we're now seeing these ads in as links um, obviously it's not linking to anything at the moment but that's good um, next we want to display is our previous um, link here and then our next link here so uh, let's do the previous one first and we are going to write um, an if statement so if pagination dot display previous is true then let's display the previous link so let's end this if for now and if and then let's start displaying our previous link so we are going to do div div class um, let me do prev link yeah i think i have to find out already and then within this i'm going to have my this um my display previous link so a href again i'm going to leave that empty for now um, and then what we want to display in here is this sign or display whoops display previous mm, not really a fan of that. that's going to look really disgusting um let me see if i can figure out what that thing was all right yeah so i've copied and pasted this from something i worked on in the past and again we are going to have to do something very similar for um the display next so i will simply copy and paste and change previous to be next and then change prev to be next as well and then we're going to get the next icon so instead of backwards oops i wanted to go there perfect um so let's see if that's coming up so hopefully we do not see previous because we're on the first page and we see next if we do see previous then we have to figure out why it can't figure out we're on the first page so we're seeing um, previous and we're also seeing next so let's work on getting these to work dynamically let's head back to php storm so if you remember we created a public um, variable called page but we actually also need to assign it a value based on the current page we are on so in order to do that, we are going to um, get the parameters from um, our browser, as in from our URL. So let's call create a new variable and call it query params, um, short for parameters. And then let's use Drupal object and let's call request. Oops, sorry, something you have to start with a slash Drupal. There we go. Then we want request and then we want to do request a query and we want to get all so then from this we are then going to assign the page variable so this page is equal to and we are going to do an, an inline if statement so query query params page 
So we're going to use the new page rate 8 form of using if. So we're saying if this value does exist, then let's just use this value. If it does not exist, then let's use 1 as the default or the fallback. So now if we go back to our browser, we should now see that 1, um, I'm not sure if I've done the styling, but the display previous should not display and 1 should look like an active link. Nice. So, okay, so we're not displaying the previous, but one is still looking like it's not active, which is fine for now. We'll probably do a bit of styling on that later. Um, so let's head back to page restore and then let's go into our template file and then let's do a bit of tidying up. We now need to add links, right, to our, um, well, we need to add, yeah, we need to add links to our links. So for the first one, we are going to add, um, a path so in order to do that you type your curly brackets double of them then path is equal to what we set the path to be in our routing file to access the movie listing page so this would be movie directory dot listing so I'm going to copy that go back to my template file and then I'm going to paste that here so that's fine it would just link, simply link us directly to where we are but we don't want that we also want to link the direct the um, user back to the previous page and not just the first page of the moving listing so in order to do that we are going to set a um, page variable sorry not um, variable but um, parameter so page and this should then equal oops yeah should then equal pagination dot previous. And I believe it's previous. Let's just double check that because sometimes I type prep for short, but yeah, so it's previous. So this is pagination dot previous. Um, again, we want to do the same for next. So same time, I'm going to copy and paste this and we are going to do, um, instead of previous, we're going to do next and it's the same for our links here, our numbers here. So this should be, but instead of um, previous, we're going to have I, right? So now what we're telling our browser or Drupal is that we want to link to this page, but we also want to add a query parameter of page and page should equal whatever this value is at the time. So let's head back to our browser and refresh. Okay, so if we start looking at our links, um, if I click on maybe page four, it should take me to page four with that there. But as you can see, we're still seeing the Mario Bros, still seeing Shazam and Avatar. Um, and let's scroll back down. If I click on page nine, we see that our URL changes, but we're still seeing the same things here. What we have to do is um, amend our query to the movie database API. So in order to do that, let's head back to our movie listing um, class and let's look for where we call the movies. So that's over here. So our movie API connector service. So we need to do something in here. So the first thing that comes to mind straight away is we need to pass it what page we are currently on. So we're passing it, let's say page nine, for example. In order to do that, we pass this page. Um, PHP Storm will say it doesn't like it because it's not accepting any arguments. So we're going to make it accept some arguments. So in, if you're using PHP Storm, you can hit command on your keyboard and then click and it should take you straight to that. Um, so then in here, what we're going to do is type a new variable on arguments and call it page. And the API is quite simple. All we have to do here is add this query and then page is equal to page and that's it we do nothing else so now let's head back to our browser and hopefully we should no longer see these three movies as we're on page nine so let's refresh and we still see the movies all right i'm going to debug and get back to you guys so um, I found a mistake. The mistake is here. Um, I'm actually calling this method create movie card, which then calls list movies, 
and um, then cause the movies that we want to iterate over. However, this page is not being assigned a value. We are assigning a value after we've called it. So we need to put this just before we've called it over here. So now when we call create movie card, this page has been assigned a number. So if we head back to a browser and refresh page five, we shouldn't see these guys anymore. We should see different movies, hopefully. Nice, so we're seeing different movies. So let's head over to page, um, let's pick a random number, page three. Saying for John Wick 5, I didn't know those 5 out. Let's go one more, let's go to 10. Let's go to our last page and we can test if this um, display next is also vanished. So scroll down. Yeah, so we don't have display next. If you go to page one, hopefully we shouldn't see display previous as well. So the movies we started off with, as just expected, scroll down. Cool, so there you have it for pagination. One last thing I forgot to show you is our active and inactive, um, I'm sorry, not active classes. So if I open up the developer tools um, and then inspect element on what page? On page one. So let's inspect element on one. You should see that is active. One is active and the rest are not active. Um, so I'm not going to spend time styling. I'm sure you guys know how to style by now. But this will prove that, okay, it's active, it's working, so you can then have a, some styling on the it's active class.